Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasure Cruise video I will be showcasing two different teams for you to easily beat the new Katakuri event Forbidden Secret without using the new badge of course. The first team will be using a V3 Big Mom as a friend captain and the second team won't be fully boosted but more free to play friendly I think with a V3 Marco friend captain for you to gain more EXP but also if you cannot find a V3 Big Mom friend captain. Before we get into the video, if you enjoy my One Piece Treasure Cruise content, I would really appreciate you subscribing to the channel, it really helps me out a lot. Now let's get to the teams and let's beat Katakuri. For the first team, we have V3 Big Mom as friend captain of course, and then we have 6 plus Pudding as our captain, for the maximum damage and she is also a boosted unit, then Arena Hawkins and the new free to play Katakuri, and also 6 plus Aokiji. And the only non-boosted unit is Colosseum Neptune, who is actually extremely important for the final stage and you need to make certain, because he is not boosted, that you have his special charge at maximum level, while you also use maximum charge special sockets and the new anniversary ship. In stages 1 through 3, you just want to tap one unit, and that way Big Mom's end of turn damage will actually take care of everyone, without you breaking a sweat. I think it is also noteworthy that all of the units on the right column do not really matter for the run, they are mainly here to give us extra drops. The units on the left column are the important ones and the ones of course that will carry us to victory. Pudding is still a great captain to use though, if you want you can probably use V26 plus Aokiji, but he does not boost everyone on the team so the damage will be less, but I don't think it will be that important. In stage number 4, you still want to keep tapping one unit and pass all of the turns until the end of turn damage takes care of both of the biscuit soldiers, but also cracker. Do not worry about the limitation to your damage, the bind or the paralysis, because everything will be gone by the end of this stage and nothing will carry over to the final one, so you just want to tap your unit and Big Mom will keep doing damage after the damage nullification shield is gone twice and then she will be able to take care of Cracker for good, he will give you burn and now, but these two debuffs are not important at all. Also make certain that you enter the quest with maximum bind, charge specials, but also despair sockets. Now for the final stage, thanks to all of the stalling we did, especially in stage number 4, Neptune, because of his sailor ability as well, will be able to gain his special. What you want to do first, after the preemptive, is to of course activate Katakuri who resists special rewind and then he will reduce the special of Neptune and give Big Mom her special back. Now you want to activate Big Mom to gain an ore boost and also her super type special because of Katakuri is now activatable and you want to activate the two to get an attack boost. Now it is time to activate Neptune who is ready to go and he will remove the remaining despair after sockets and the attack down. Then just attack ending on your int units, you do not even need to hit perfects and easily beat Katakuri. For the second team, we are going to use a V3 Marco friend captain for more EXP, and surprisingly enough, Treasure Map Dex Luffy is a great captain here, he is also free to play, and he is way better than V26 plus Aokiji. I initially tried this team with Aokiji as captain, but the damage was simply not enough, because not all of the units on the team were boosted, of course Aokiji only boosts Q and Psy. Marco in combination with Luffy though, boosts everyone on the team, which is great. We are again using the new anniversary ship and this time you need to have some specific supports. Especially on Luffy you need to have time skip Sanji so he can remove despair in the final stage and unfortunately a lot of support choices for despair are eliminated 
because the despair removal is combined with bind removal and we get binded before we get despaired in a different stage which is pretty annoying but time skip sanji is the great support on luffy for literally every other unit that can get a support i am using a matching slot support for the final stage so the chances of having a bomb slot which cannot be manipulated by luffy's special are completely reduced to zero and we can have almost a full board of matching slots guaranteed except for one on Marco. For stage number three, your plan of action is extremely simple. You want to activate Arena Hawkins, then you want to target Brulee and attack her based on your slots and of course the end of turn damage from Hawkins will take care of Brulee, it will go through her resilience and it will also take care of every other mob on the stage. If in the first two stages you can farm a bit to have some guaranteed matching slots, that would probably be ideal for your run and the safest thing to do. Now for stage number 4, sockets will take action and you need to have Drake in the right column. Activate him to remove the damage nullification shield, the bind, get a color affinity boost and a chain boost. And then activate V26 plus Aokiji to get an attack boost for your side units and guaranteed matching slots. You want to attack the Biscuit Soldier Aokiji damaged with Luffy and Drake, then the other one with Katakuri, and then end with all of your Psy units on Cracker to take him out in one turn. For the final stage, two turns of Despair will be removed because of Sanji, and three because of Sockets. After the preemptive activates, our matching slot supports will also activate and specifically I am running V3 Summer Boa on Aokiji, Story VV on Drake, Legend Bonnie on Hawkins and Limited Rare Recruit Brulee on Katakuri. Then activate Katakuri to give Marco his special back but also the same with Luffy. Then activate Marco to get an attack boost for all of your units and then finally activate Luffy to completely remove despair, attack down and get an ore boost for everyone on the team. Start attacking, ending the chain on Katakuri of course, who even if you miss Brulee you need a matching slot on, so make certain you transition story Vivi to Katakuri instead of Drake if it is needed. Generally for the matching slot supports, the more you have and you do not need these specific ones but the more of them you use and guarantee a matching slot, the less RNG the last stage will be. Because if you get bomb slots on all of your units for example, Luffy cannot transition them to matching and you cannot clear. Of course if you do not have any matching slot supports to use, I would advise you to find a different team, something more safe but if you want to risk it with RNG that is also up to you. These are my two teams though for you to beat the new event against Katakuri, hopefully they helped you out and if they did and you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, I would really appreciate it. Also if you have any questions, as always, feel free to tell me in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.